Boris Johnson wants Ireland to leave EU trade rules and form a new union with the UK instead after Brexit. Ireland described the proposal as worrying and dismissed any suggestion that the country would align with the UK. Here's a summary of the article. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson reportedly wants Ireland to agree to temporarily leave its trading union with the European Union and join with the UK instead after Brexit. The Sun newspaper reports that Downing Street is considering asking Ireland to voluntarily diverge from EU rules to prevent a hard border between the two countries after Britain leaves the EU. Under the plan Ireland would gain a special dispensation from Brussels to leave its trading rules until new alternative arrangements to the Northern Ireland backstop are established. The solution is a bilateral agreement to agree a common rule book for Britain and Ireland for as long we need one, a senior minister in Johnson's government told The Sun. This is an EU-UK matter, we are the EU, there is no scope for a bilateral agreement, Neil Richmond, the Brexit spokesman for Ireland's ruling Fine Gael party, tweeted, adding that the apparent proposal was a «worrying pivot» by the UK government. The proposal for a new trade union between the two countries is reportedly one of the «creative solutions» Johnson has said he'll raise with EU leaders this week. Johnson's proposal comes after he wrote to the European Council's President, Donald Tusk, this week to insist that the Northern Ireland backstop must be removed from the Brexit withdrawal agreement. Tusk dismissed the idea and accused Johnson of secretly wanting to trigger a new hard border on the island of Ireland. This post received a score of 28,129, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Why dream small? Why not the whole EU countries leaving the EU trade rules and forming a new union with the UK instead? Boris, think big. Exactly. We could call it the Union of Europeans. The UE, if you will. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland and France and Spain and Portugal and Germany and Belgium and Poland and Italy and TNE Galactic Empire. So this is how liberty dies. With milky tea and crumpets. Come on mate at least bring some chocolate digestives to the table. Knowing Bojo, he'd rip open the tea bags, dump them in tepid water, then microwave the whole thing. I think that's a hate crime in Britain. Johnson, hey, Ireland, why don't you shotgun your own bollocks off with us? Ireland, no? Hey Ireland, ditch your currency and come with us or Northern Ireland gets it. Great negotiating with you, let's be best friends, yours dearly, Boris. Oh dear, what is all that commotion outside? There appears to be some folks having some manner of troubles out there. I bet it's that Chucky Arlor guy again. Boris Johnson failed history class. Is that what you're saying? We'll treat all these nations like subhuman scum because we genuinely believe they are lesser beings than us. What long-term consequences could there possibly be? Me failed history? That's impossible. I'm learning. Ms. Hoover, the deal papers jumped up into my mouth and I ate them. Can I have another? Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Nigel Farage were in the closet making bad trade legislations and I saw one of the legislations and it looked at me. Hey Ireland, you know how we've been historical enemies for basically forever? Forget about that. Instead tank your economy to do me a favor. Thanks smiley face, Boris. Right. Varadkar is probably like, let's see, screw ourselves over to do our neighbor a favor who screwed us over for about a millennium because he screwed himself over, how about no? I'm thinking Leo is like, so they can't figure out the Northern Ireland border solution, so they want us to go off the cliff with it. So we can stick it to the English and laugh. This never was an attempt to make a trade deal or establish an economic union. Predictably, the Irish refused to even consider Johnson's proposal so Boris can turn around to his supporters at home and claim everybody hates us and you can't deal with malicious haters like that. It's a classic fault projection on others to explain your own shortcomings. Any consequences for his country are just bumps on the road because they don't affect him personally and his delusions about his inflated sense of worth. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.